hello lovely people welcome back to my channel thank you all for coming back and guys hey thank you all for the shares thank you all for the views of the previous coconut oil that i made that really encouraged me to make you this method this one is the cold press version of the coconut oil and it's healthier than the one i made before the one I made before can be used for the skin and hair, but this one can be used for both cooking and the skin and hair. Guys, let's get started. I've already cracked the coconut and now I'm going to scrape the brown skin off, the coconut meat or flesh, and we'll continue from there. So keep an eye on this video, go nowhere, and you surely love this method, okay? So far, if you're loving this video, give your girl a big thumbs up. Just use one second to do this. We are done peeling off the skin and it's time for us to wash it nicely, guys, and continue from there. Don't throw away the coconut shell. Use that for your decorative purposes or for your charcoal. So, guys, it's time for us to cut into pieces the coconut flesh. And that's it. It looks so white. It looks so nice. And it smells so good. Oh, my goodness. It's so juicy. This coconut is matured and I love the smell. So when we are done cutting the coconut into pieces, we will then transfer the coconut into the bowl. You can straight away transfer it into your blender and then you blend it until it's nice and smooth. I don't know why I always have to put it in the bowl first before I transfer it into the blender. But that's all good anyways. So let's bring our blender and then transfer it again into the blender. And then blend it until it's nice and smooth. I'm saying nice and smooth because we, we are trying to extract as much milk from this coconut flesh as possible. So make sure that you blend it until it's nice and smooth. Take your time. Give it time for it to blend well. Unless you want to blend it two times or three times. But if not, try as much as possible to blend it for a long time to extract as much milk as possible. Lovely people, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share, comment, and recommend this channel to friends and families who may be interested in my recipes. And if it's your first time on this channel, hey, you are warmly welcome. Please click on the red subscribe button, click on the bell button to join this family and also be updated, okay? So now I'm using my chiffon cloth to separate the coconut milk from the coconut pulp or chaff. Guys, you can as well use your nutmeg bag or muslin cloth. Just use anything that you have to separate the milk from the coconut pulp or chaff. Do this gently and patiently, okay, like I'm doing. Look how pure the milk is. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. Look at that wow guys once we are all done look at that you can use this for a lot of appetizing dishes and i've used this coconut milk for coconut jollof rice wow coconut curry rice wow look at that so amazing and also coconut fried rice lovely people i don't need to tell you how amazing these dishes were just give it a try and bring me the feedback. We are now onto the coconut chaff. Guys, don't throw it away. You can use it for your pancake and for many other recipes. Okay, so right now this one, I'm going to dry it. Just throw it into the oven and I'll use it for something amazing, which I'll bring it to you very soon. So now we are going to let this coconut milk remain here. But first, we have to cover it up tightly like I'm doing. And then we put it in a warm place for two or three days for it to ferment. Guys, that's it. Let it ferment. Let it stay in a warm area or place. We are back after two days. And guys, it's already fermented. So it's going into the fridge for some time. And then we come back when it's solidified. Okay? We are back after a few hours from the fridge and guys, there is a separation here. The cream and curd is now at the top and then the water at the bottom. We're going to collect the cream and curd, which is now solidified and put it in the sieve. Guys, I'm using the sieve because I want the excess water, which will have its way into the cream and curd to drain out of the cream and curd, okay? 
So after collecting the cream and curd like this into a bowl and covering it up with a clink foam, if you live in a sunny area, all you do is to just leave it in the sun for the sun to melt out the coconut oil for you. Okay, so in this case, you will be done with your cold pressed coconut oil. But since I live in a different place where it's snowing, where it's raining at the moment, what I'm doing is to just put hot water in the hot water bottle and allow it to stay in a warm area and this will help melt out the coconut oil for me okay so lucky for me the next day there was a little bit of sunshine so i brought it out to stay at the window and guys on top of it is the oil melting out in the middle is the cream and curd and on the bottom is the water okay voila look at that the oil is out already i am good now guys you can now grab your container use your spoon to collect the oil and guys you are done make sure that you don't collect some of the um cream and curd or else your oil will go bad very soon but usually that's how i do mine i just put back my everything into the fridge again for it to solidify and then i use my knife to separate the cream and curd and the water from the oil okay that's how i do it and it's very helpful so you can as well use this method or use the first one okay where you just use your spoon and your container to collect the oil so guys that's it the white one the first white one is the oil the middle is the cream and curd and then the bottom is the water so i'm going to use my knife to just cut it until i get to the white part and then i'll just use my knife again to cut the oil part into pieces and i'll put them in a container that's it look at that it's so pure it smells so good this is healthy and can be used for cooking as well as for the skin and your hair okay guys don't throw away the cream and curd part and then the water part okay we're going to use the heat to extract more oil from this portion just keep watching i hope you are inspired so don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up please share this video for others to see how easy and how healthy it is to make your own coconut oil from scratch and the comfort of your home please if you are new hey you are warmly welcome please click on the red subscribe button click on the bell button to get more updates and join this beautiful family okay so guys that's it i'm going to use my knife to cut this beautifully and put that in my container and use it for cooking for frying for removing my makeup guys for my hair for my skin please let others know about this let them know how easy it is to make your own coconut oil from scratch at the comfort of your own home guys i'm really impressed and i'm sure you are inspired to try this as soon as possible oh my goodness this smells so good i love how pure it is it's so amazing to make this from scratch and i cannot fold this oh my goodness guys just give this a try and bring me the feedback lovely people this is how to make cold pressed coconut oil from the comfort of your home i believe you are inspired and you love it okay look at that this is it it's so simple it's so quick and i love the fact that it's so pure it smells so good guys let's go and check on the cream and curd and wow look at that we've got some oil from there too so lovely people it's always advisable not to throw away your cream and curd but use this method to extract more oil from it okay always let your cream and curd turn brown then you know it's ready let it cool down and filter out the oil. Don't also throw away the brown cream and curd. Just add honey and brown sugar to exfoliate your skin. Guys, thank you all for watching. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching until this point and I believe you are inspired. See you all again in my next video. Please share this video for others to see it. Just spread the word, okay? Like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. I love you all. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.